It's true. There's a lot of haters out there. Anyways, um, you guys hopefully remember this mechanism from Organic One, right? So this is the Markovnikov addition of HBr to an alkene, okay? So you can see the reactants, you can see the products. Notice that the bromine went to the more substituted side of the alkene, right? And the hydrogen went to the less substituted side. That is Markovnikov addition to the alkene, where the hydrogen goes to the less substituted side. And remember why. It's because the carbocation that's formed is more stable if it's more substituted. So let's just go over the mechanism, because I'm sure that some of you guys have forgotten that. So when HBr is in the presence of an alkene, there, um, these electrons here will deprotonate, very acidic. Right, very acidic. So this thing acts as a base, okay? So it's got a choice as to put the proton on this side or on this side, right? So those choices would give us two different carbocations. If we put the proton here, it would give us that primary carbocation. If we put the proton here, right, it would give us the tertiary carbocation, right? Well, it's the only one that it's going to do. This will not happen. Yeah, yeah that won't happen because primaries don't form. Okay, so you got to do, you got to push the reaction real hard to make a primary carbocation. So, anyway, since we know that's not going to happen, the tertiary is going to form. So, what's going to happen is that these electrons here are going to deprotonate a BR like that, and in fact, let's just go ahead and go through that carbon just to emphasize it, okay? And then when that happens, we get that as an intermediate, plus, of course, BR minus. <coughs> Minus and plus, match made in heaven. And of course, remember this is sp2 hybridized, right? So it's trigonal planar. So this attack can come from the bottom or the top, okay? So if we were making, if these were two different groups here, we would be making a stereocenter here. Right? But since they're not, we're not. So I'm not going to. So, the product is what we expected. Turk butyl bromide. And again, remember that hydrogen is implied, I'm just not showing. Sure. So, this is Markovnikov addition of HBr to an alkene. So, we can do also anti-Markovnikov addition um, of HBr to an alkene, but we need an initiator, okay? And um, because why? Because it's a radical reaction. And um, we're going to show that next, okay? So these are going to be effectively reactions that you can use in opposite situations. One, if you want the Markovnikov addition, the other one if you want the anti-Markovnikov, okay? Is everybody okay with that? Any questions on this one? Pretty straightforward. You guys have known this one for a long time.